Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and uh, salutations to the brothers and sisters out there that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. All right? Right. Yeah, so right now, man, as you see, uh, the Most High is moving up upon uh, these different men, man, particularly uh, GMS, man. You guys have messed up. You don't even know. You know? And uh, right now, y'all pushing this man worship doctrine, which we already knew y'all were going to be. Because for us, when we left, we were seeing it, man. That's right. Okay? In fact, in the council that we had when we left, which we'll just kind of bring out a little bit of it, we discussed the fact that we wanted to follow Yahweh Bashan Yahshai, not man. That's right. That was part of the council. And these brothers are witnesses. That's right. Gone. Right? Gone. And Gone. what them brothers told us was that we got, the, uh, they asked me specifically, and you brothers can witness. Yep. This is so you don't believe in the doctrine of Tahar? Gone. That's Gone. Right. Exact words, right? That's, there. What, that's right. what one of the men say. And say, say something, we're going to jump fly on you, man, through this prayer, Yahweh Bashan Yahshai. Right. Turn aside get, to make a wrong turn, man. You're gonna see what's up that street. You know? Right. You're gonna see how the spirit's gonna deal with you, man. Because we we saying the truth. These guys in that in that council said that that I asked me whether or not and asked us whether we believe whether we believe in the doctrine of Tahar, the bar around Nab and Rakar. And right. we said no, we don't believe in it because it's not of Yahweh Bashan Yah Shah. That's right. And we told them straight to their face, man. Because we've been seeing how you men been operating for months, even when we was dealing with you guys. Right. Mm -hmm. Seeing how you do different things. That's why the brother, I not, and the brothers from uh, uh, Good Samaritans them brought out some information on you guys to prove that you guys, the man that's being talked about, that the brother's about to bring out in Revelations 2. All right. Go ahead, huh? This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, these things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his in his right hand, mm -hmm. who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Right. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not canst not bear them which are evil. Yeah, we can. So the Most High knows there's a certain group of men that cannot bear them that are evil. That's right. What's evil doers? Men that are transgressing the law. Man, you pushing out adultery. You're pushing out idolatry now. Yeah, and you're, the most I have made your tongue to fall upon yourself, man. You, Gabar, starting with you, Gabar, you done, now you done came out and pushed idolatry on men. And your other men, your other minions is, is doing lessons. And some of you brothers is wise enough not to even do a lesson. Right. Don't even let that man come and call you or tell you you got to start doing a lesson about how you should worship men. That's right. Well, the most I going to deal with you, man. That's why the most High is jacking, jacking on right now. Mm-hmm. Right. You better be careful because there's certain things written in this particular uh, chapter that's dealing with you if you don't repent. Right. Go ahead, huh? And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, mm. and has found them liars. Isn't that what's happening right now? That's exactly. Right. You men, a few years ago, two to three years ago, you went and started calling yourself the apostles, man. Not of the will of Yahweh Bashi Yahshua, but of the will of man. Mm -hmm. You did it yourself. So now you're in a trick bag right now. Right. Right. You know? That's right. You're, being a, you're showing yourself to be a false apostle. You bear false witness. Your other man bear false witness the other week against our brother I not. Lying on him on camera, on video that's out there on the internet for everybody to see. Right. You're going to bear false witness. Then the next week, your other, your, your other man went and said that you should worship men. Worship men. Pushing idolatry on men, which we saw y'all was doing when we was in that place. Because mm. before, in fact, the whole, uh, yeah, go ahead real quick and give me a, a 1 Corinthians 11. We'll go back right back to there. Because we didn't ask brothers who their head was. I didn't ask brothers who their head was, and they couldn't tell me the house shot. Mm -hmm. You know, that was one of the things that, um, Inspired us to name my church, the Church of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what we represent. We're not saying that that's who we are. Yeah, that's right. You know, we just represent. We we giving praise to our head. Yeah, you know? that's not right. Not a damn great millstone. That's right. Mm -hmm. a, a Church of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shot, last I checked, is greater than a millstone. 
Right. You brought you guys keep offending the little ones. It's gonna be tied around your neck and gonna be cast into the sea, man. And how does proud name in your church? The church of your house by shit house shot. Yeah, saying it's proud. How does proud? We never even open up saying that that's yeah. what we are. That's right. Y'all do that. Yeah. Y'all say right. y'all great millstone this, GMS this. Yeah. You acting like some damn gang bangers, man. Cause really a lot of y'all guys are just masons, man. Come on. Some of you guys are just low level masons, man. Y'all my most like gonna destroy your works. That's right. Destroy that's your right. evil, man. Your your witchery and your your witchcraft. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Go ahead and bring that out, huh? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 11. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe. No, 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians. Oh, 11 and 1. Yeah. Like, like I said, 1 and 11. No, okay. Yeah, because, you know, we got to go back and establish the yeah. basis for men. Since y'all want to put another man as your head, we got to go back into the scriptures. That's right. Because we know there's sincere brothers among you. Heck, we were amongst yeah. among y'all. Yeah. So we got to have we got to have mercy. But right. to those men that are teaching these things, the most high got a, a, a greater judgment for you. That's right. Go ahead, Al. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am, I also am of my shot. Yeah, he said emulate me. He ain't saying be like me, make me your head. He's right. saying, look, follow it, me an example. That's in other it. letters, it says, look at us as an example as how you ought to walk. For mm -hmm. we not, did not walk disorderly among you. That's right. Right, right. That's what he said. It's the same thing. Why don't you learn a precept upon precept and start playing games? God. You reaching, man. Mm-hmm. Because all that word means, uh, follow, it means to imitate, man, when you look the word up. Uh, and, go mm -hmm. ahead. And, and so when you're imitating somebody, you're watching what they're doing, and then you're just doing the same doing thing, the same man. Thing. That's it. So he ain't, that ain't making you uh, underneath the man just because you're imitating him. You're just copying what he's doing. The righteous work. The righteous work. Y'all yep. copying wicked works because your man's up at the top, your elders and the so your apostles, and your, fel your false apostles and so-called elders are telling you to do wickedness. Right. See, the spirit of the Lord is on you guys, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's playing is, is, is simple. That's exactly what's happening to you, man. And we're not going to hold back on you. Right. You, done, you done got yourself into the ring with Yahweh Shah. Now the sword is coming after you. That's right. Keep going, I. Right? Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Now these guys always talk about being disordered. Disordered. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's wrong with order? What's wrong with order? No, what's wrong with your order? That's why right. Satan is your head right now. All right. That's right. And we done warned you, brothers, weeks ago, we're setting things in order. You wanted to scoff, which is one of the things we brought up in the council mm -hmm. about how come you don't set it up like this, like it is in the scriptures. And one of the things, let you jump fly. You know who I'm talking about. Right. One of the guys said that, well, look, that was 2,000 years ago, Ak. Mm -hmm. We don't follow that. That's not what yeah. your heart teaches. Yeah. We don't subscribe to that. Basically rejecting Paul's letters. And then the same man that called himself the Apostle Paul, this guy is actually telling you we're not supposed to follow that. That's right. This is one of your own men. And let him jump fly, you're gonna bring it out. Wicked. Right? right? Wicked. And these brothers are witnesses. Mm -hmm. And and say that we're lying, let, say that we're lying and saying we, we that we're lying. We're gonna see how the most high y'all about you now shot gonna deal with y'all. Mm -hmm. right. We dare you to speak, man. You better you best off just repenting. Just don't even say nothing, man. Say you was going off on that and repent and come back to what this scripture is about to say. Go ahead, huh? Verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach. Uh-huh. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is man. The head of every man is who? Mashiach. The head of every man is Mashiach. Now this guy, Gabar, you went and did a lesson about how you got a body and a head. But you didn't want to admit during the whole lesson that Yahweh Shai was the head. Woo. You admitted that Tahar is the head. You guys, is, your, you, your body is built like a damn crash gun. Right. You guys might as well be weak in, weak in that Bernie's, man. That's right. Just be mm -hmm. in the car, just bouncing around like this. Just lifeless, man. That's right, that's right, man. You got a precept. Go ahead, huh? This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Which he wrought in Mashiach when he raised him from the dead and set him at his right hand in the heavenly places. And I'm gonna jump down to 22. Mm -hmm. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, mm -hmm. which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all, filleth all in all. 
go ahead, go into that. Huh? You know, that, that's just saying that Mashiach, you know, Yahweh Shah is the church. And he is the head of the church. Yeah, you he's know, the, his, his body. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's, he's the body. He's yeah. Like, yeah, and he's the head he's of the head. church. Yeah, and we're made up of the body, man. The body. Not your damn, not your, not your damn roly poly stone. Right. Okay. Right. Not your great millstone. Is not the body. That's right. Stop playing games, man. That's right. And it ain't no damn mediator. Between, Between a mediator. Between right. a mediator. And then you stand that you're the only ambassadors, man. You're the only ambassadors of the house shot, right? The only ambassador, but the last I checked, when you go into the book of Revelation, 144,000. Hmm. You right. guys, is, you guys is messing up right now, man. Right. And really, y'all need that stern rebuke, man. Because really, we're warning you before, uh, before the time comes, man. Right. Because it says in the scriptures like that all men would repent, all that would come to repentance. That's right. That's so some of you guys just gotta get okay. right. That's just why this place ain't went down. Cause see, you know how Jake is, man. You have yeah. kids. You do be soft with your, your you, you be soft with, with whatever. The most times, the most time I try something soft with people. And, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. With the children, mm -hmm. initial rebukes and things like yeah. that. Then you bring out a, a greater judgment. That's right. And jack right. you up and, yeah. and have you taken captive, man. Right. You get you delivered to the tormentors until you pay everything that you owe. God. Yep. Well, what about the chemtrails? What about, what about the polluted water? What about, what about the, the chip? Club? Yeah, what about the chip? Yeah. Everybody know that. He's not doing his life. No, like, what about you, man? What about mm -hmm. you That's not? Right. What about you teaching false doctrines? What That's about right. you teaching idolatry? What about That's you right. extorting yeah. men? That's mm -hmm. right. What about you plotting to kill men? That's right. Don't think the most high don't see that. Mm-hmm. Most high gonna return that on y'all's own head. Alright. Go back to that revelations, huh? Alright. That's right. Verse 3. Revelations chapter 2, verse 3. And has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have I have somewhat against thee. Okay, because didn't they labor in the name of Yahweh Shah? That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They labored in the name of Yahweh Shah. Yep. Right? Keep going. Nevertheless, I have some somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. You have left your first love. At one point, we know that y'all had that least uh have loved Yahweh Shah. Right, right. At some point, we don't know how long ago it yeah. was, mm -hmm. but we sure know it ain't there. It don't act like it is. Right. Because now your men is actually spending more time defending you so-called apostles and elders yeah. than the gospels. Than the gospel, man. Uh -huh. That's just proof in the pudding. Yeah. Right. You got guys doing four or five lessons a week on defending men, yeah. corruptible men. And never going into the gospels. Never. No? Go ahead, huh? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come upon thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place. So remove that knowledge, man. Remove your spirit from you. Except thou repent. That's right. You're going to remove that spirit from you. That's right. That's what he's going to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening to y'all right now, man. Yep. Some of y'all right now, that's really happening to you. That's true. Right. That's, that's true. You're going to remove that spirit from you, man. Before right. you know, you're going to wake up one day, you're going to be completely bugged out. Because you didn't fear you how about Shim Yahweh Shah. You wanted to push doctrines on men, wickedness, completely just going against the whole setup of the Gospels. And you think the Most High ain't going to judge you? You think you don't see that? Yeah. Read that again, huh? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Remember where thou art fallen. Now, what did, now what did, Peter, what did uh, Paul say? Paul said, in fact, we'll, we'll get that later. But Paul goes about not hindering the Gospels. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. He goes into not hindering the gospel, which we'll get into. Because we're gonna show you where thou art from. Mm-hmm. That's right. Keep going out. And repent and do the first works. Mm -hmm. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place. That's right. Except thou repent. Except thou repent. Which I don't teach. They don't teach it. Now we got it. Now brothers gotta go back to the basis with y'all guys. Because it's clear that when guys is doing things, going off completely, smoking weed, dealing with whores, extorting brothers, you know what I'm saying? Being unreasonable guests in men's houses. You don't want to check men. That's the reason why certain, hey, we saw some today. We're going to bring it out probably another time and show you how bad y'all get. Woo! 
Oh yeah. Since that brother didn't want to repent, he didn't understand this place of repentance was there. Now the most side of the probably is, is, is jacking you up. Go ahead. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Now I go into that piece, which brother, the, the, the Nicolaitans. You know, yeah, go into the, into go the ahead, lesson. You can, it's what happened. The video, the lesson from yesterday. Go ahead, Andrew. You can explain it better than me, though, man. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, basically, yeah, the brothers, from, the brothers from uh, I not did a good lesson yeah. on you guys, man. You guys follow the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, man, to the to the team. That's right. To the team, man, which basically deals with exercising the Lord lordship and supremacy upon men. Right. Okay. So the Most High is going to deal with y'all if y'all don't repent. Mm -hmm. And we're warning you right now, man. We're warning you as if it's going to happen soon. Because if we act like, you know, it's not serious, you know? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. If someone tells you a bear is right around the corner, they're just like, hey, look, there's a bear around the corner, uh -huh. man. We done tried to be soft-handed with you guys, man. But the Spirit of the Lord is not heavy-handed upon you. Because right. now y'all done stepped into that ring. It ain't no more sparring going on. This is actual fight. That's right. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's ain't right. Ain't no more sparring now, man. This is straight warfare, spiritual warfare. But you guys want to be carnal. You guys thinking about setting up men, killing men. We know, don't think we don't know about that. Okay? Most I gonna deal with you guys, man. No, what you said I think that's good. You said it already. No, I'm already said it. Okay. Yeah, keep going. He that has an ear, <clears throat> let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Mm -hmm. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of Yahweh. To him that overcometh. And what did they overcome? They overcame being in this doctrine. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Being on a man that practiced this lordship and dominion doctrine, that's man. Right. Which the apostles of Yahweh Shai did not push. And that's why you stretching, you stretching like Jack Reacher, Gabar, mm -hmm. trying to find the way to, to, to break it down. Uh -huh. Most eyes jacking you up more and more, man. More and more. More and more, man. Next time you open your mouth, man, it's gonna be something else. Woo! I got a scripture for you. Go 